Queensland's <laughs> Mark Visser has just returned from Dungeons. It's a surf break near South Africa's Cape Town where he managed to ride one of the biggest waves ever surfed. But he also found out the waves weren't the only big things in the water. This keeps getting better and better. Mark, Hi. How, how, did you, how did you surf this big wave? Uh, we uh, got towed in by jet skis and um, yeah, they reckon it was uh, one guy's wave was recorded about 80 foot, so it was probably one of the biggest waves ever ridden over there ever. So wow! Pretty, yeah. And what was the biggest you did there? Uh, it's hard to say um, when you're when you're going down, you're not really looking back trying to measure, <laughs> but I guess it comes down to photos at the end, and uh, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting when they all come out. Wow! Were you scared? I'm not. That's a girly question, yeah, no. but um, to be honest, I think. Uh, times before I have been but this time I was pretty comfortable and um, yeah, I was enjoying the experience. Okay so when a set comes in and you look over your shoulder you go blimey or words to that effect <laughs> this is a doozy I'm gonna actually have to take it. Uh, I personally I was like you know let's go you know we were, that's what we're there for and that's what we love so that's what I was doing I was we were chasing them down. The other thing that's amazing I was reading about your training Yep. schedule far out um, you're pretty fit <laughs> five massive sessions in the pool three intense gym sessions two extreme altitude training sessions and you surf twice a day and you've even got a bit of yoga in there yeah gonna put a bit of that in there a bit of fun <laughs> no, it's um it's pretty intense but I guess what I do you want to make sure you you're in the best possible condition you can be in and uh, at the end of the day you know when your life literally is on the line you, you just want to put yourself in a place where you know you, you can handle it and you're comfortable. Oh, so you chase these around the world to do it, to get the best photos, but at the dungeons it wasn't just big waves, you, you had some friends join you too. Yeah, I had uh, had this wave where I got absolutely smashed and I was, I was stuck on the inside and I got held in there for a while and then the guy come and got me and then when he said, oh, you know, I think they've seen a shark and I was like, oh, really, you know, what type of shark do you think it was? And they're all just laughing. The local guys are just laughing at me going, you know, we only get one type around here. And like, it's, it's a great white for sure. So I was so freaked out. <laughs> but uh, it was, yeah, it was hairy over there because we all look like seals. We had little gloves on, hoods. Um, yeah, we, and they're, they're everywhere. That's the, the red triangle for the breeding ground is, that's it right there. Okay. That's an incentive to keep on the board, is it? <laughs> keep on the board, yeah. Wow, right, amazing. Well, great pictures. Thank you, Mark, very much. No worries. Good to talk to you. Thanks.